Stanley Kubrick's The Shining made major changes to Stephen King's original story, and while these made the movie a unique experience, they also left a bunch of questions, such as why there are two Grady's and if Charles and Delbert Grady are the same. Stephen King has terrorized generations of readers with his horror novels and short stories, and among his most successful and popular works is The Shining, published in 1977 and adapted to the big screen in 1980. Directed by Stanley Kubrick, The Shining followed the basic idea of King's novel but made some major changes that ultimately made the movie its own thing and not so much an adaptation of the book. The Shining, then, tells the story of Jack Torrance, Jack Nicholson, a struggling writer and recovering alcoholic who takes a position as the off-season caretaker of the Overlook Hotel in the Colorado Rockies. Jack hopes to find the inspiration he needs to work on a play while at the hotel but also looks to reconnect with his wife, Wendy, Shelley Duvall, and their son, Danny, Danny Lloyd, so he takes them with him. However, everywhere gets complicated and dangerous when a snowstorm leaves them cut off from the outside world, and along with Danny's mysterious psychic abilities, the supernatural forces inhabiting the Overlook Hotel begin to awaken and start messing with Jack's sanity, leaving Wendy and Danny fighting for their lives all by themselves. One of the Overlook's ways to mess with Jack's mind was through the ghosts that lived there, especially the bartender, Lloyd, Joe Turkle, and Delbert Grady, Philip Stone, the butler, but Delbert isn't the only Grady mentioned in The Shining as there's also Charles Grady, raising the question of whether these characters are the same or not. The Shining, how is Jack Torrance connected to the Grady's? The Shining having two Grady's has made way for a variety of interpretations and even the belief that it was a mistake, but as Kubrick was known for paying close attention to every detail and was a perfectionist, it's unlikely he would have let a mistake like that slip. The two Grady's, along with the many mirrors in The Shining, have been interpreted as being mirrors of Jack the husband and father and Jack the mysterious man in the 1920s photo at the end of the movie, meaning Jack is two people, hence why Delbert Grady's line about how Jack has always been the caretaker. Now, Charles Grady was the Overlook's previous caretaker who, according to Stuart Ullman, succumbed to cabin fever and murdered his family before killing himself, while Delbert Grady is the ghost and butler that Jack talks to in the hotel and who lets him out of the kitchen pantry. Although there's no definitive answer on why there are two Grady's in The Shining, Kubrick's explanation of the photograph at the end can solve the mystery. In an interview with Michel Simon, Kubrick said the photograph suggests Jack was the reincarnation of an earlier official at the hotel, so Charles Grady could have been the reincarnation of Delbert Grady, thus why he killed his family. Jack Torrance, then, went through the same experience as Charles Grady in terms of being the reincarnation of one of the Overlook's sinister presences, but luckily for Wendy and Danny, Jack didn't kill his family as Grady did. The Shining was made to confuse and unsettle the audience, and its many unanswered questions have made way for a number of interesting interpretations, such as how the Grady's are linked to Jack.